everyone. Welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, a show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. Now, I'm Jamie. I'm your host. We have our angel here, Hipster Curtis, with his son, Burns, behind the camera, and we have our happy Honduran, Eddie. Ooh. Not today, Curtis. I've been traveling around the world. <laughs> just I found today? something. I just got back. One just day. Like, oh, okay. Boy, my arms are tired, too. Uh, I traveled around all over Europe. Yep. And uh, I found something I'd, I'd never seen. I mean, you're the enthusiast. I know you've seen about everything, but I hope that we've never seen this one or tried it. I bought this at a uh, in Denmark at a duty free shop. <laughs> brought it. <laughs> Can you explain to our viewers what duty free means before we go? I think our viewers are probably smarter than you, and they know what duty free. No, means. <laughs> no, maybe not. Because I just found out. <laughs> All it's, it's also duty free. The, these oh yeah, lovely. Chocolates from Paris and fruits. I don't know where'd you get these. Paris also. Paris also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and we're gonna have to try some of those. He ran out of money after Paris, guys. No, because that was at the end. Yeah. 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 And the chocolates are too. So yeah. I think this is the first time I'm gonna have French chocolate. Is it made in China? No, it's made in Paris. Oh, he also okay. got this, which is kind of cool. It says, "This is probably whiskey." It's a nice little wine. Glass, but it's uh, nice. yeah, it's from my aunt Darlene, so thank you for that. Uh, I had to put it on the show for her. We also should give a special thanks to the man who took care of your puppies. Yeah, I took care of some animals <laughs> for a day. <laughs> took care of my dogs <laughs> well, well, while I was away. While he's away, yeah, my dog and my cat. Yeah, they're nice. So now we have the big daddy of them all. Here we go. Search far and wide for something different. Do you want me to like cover my eyes? It's still in the duty free bag. Okay. Sealed. Okay. So let's go pull it out. Yeah, get rid of that bag and then figure out how to open it. Big box. Ooh. Hulk. Hulk. Hercules. Hercules. (laughs) Receipt still there. Receipt still on there. Let's see. Let's see how much that costs over. Danica oh. whiskey. Really? Four hundred and what? Four hundred and sixty-nine crones. Probably about sixty bucks. Seventy-four, I believe. Seventy-four. Yeah. Okay. So, looks like it's Danica whiskey, mm-hmm. Danish single malt whiskey. Never had a Danish whiskey. Award-winning non-peated product of Denmark. You never seen this? Never. Oh, I've seen it, but I've never had it. Ooh. Uh, I, there was two options, a smoky and peaty, and then there's this one that went with the original. Okay. The original. Okay. Look at the bottle. It's kind of pretty. Bronstein. Bronstein. All right. Okay, it says here. It says here, type Danica non-peated whiskey. So Danica is a type of whiskey, huh? The casks, it says Oloroso Sherry. It's 42% alcohol. Oh, wow. It says here. A great whiskey for people with a sweet tooth. This non-smoked whiskey is matured in selection of the finest small and big cask. A smooth and complex whiskey that caresses the palate with notes of chocolate and loads of dried fruit. I think I'll oh my gosh. chocolate then because maybe the chocolate will go nice with it. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to open this. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Half a liter? I thought milliliters were... Uh, Wait, are milliliters? 50 centiliters. Milliliters are smaller. Okay. So the next step up would be a liter. So it'd be, it's half of a liter. Okay. Well, it smells like whiskey. Mm-hmm. They got one thing, right? Do we know the mash on this or anything? No. Nothing? No. I mean, you didn't like do any research or anything? I, it was hard for me to, without opening it and seeing which one I had. To know which which one it was. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I did look, but, but it, it just says here a smooth and complex whiskey that caresses the palate with notes of chocolate and loads of dry fruit. So, it's okay. One of so, them. Uh, I'm wondering what the mash is here. Um, it does have a, a bit of corn. I would say it's a lot of corn. I don't think there. It. It. I don't. Sense any uh, rye, but I'm not really getting the sweetness of wheat. It's got some qual like the the fruity flavors kind of make it almost like a I don't know if it's a scotch, like a, not a smoky or peaty scotch, but kind of more of like that dried fruit, dark fruit kind yeah. of scotch. Yeah, the taste definitely has that. That's what I'm getting. From pretty it. forward. It's forward in the in the the fruit. What do you get? Uh, you know, I. Uh, 
I would say this is like a little stronger than like an Irish whiskey. Um, I, I do, I do uh, pick up the fruits, uh, the chocolate a little bit. Um, I like the strength and the heat. Like the heat is not too strong, but it's really warming as you're done. And it's like, and it's not harsh. Uh, it's very smooth, but it's got a little bit of a, I don't want to say like young or anything, but it's got a little, little kick in there. But so I like it. This is, let's see, so words of Did whiskey. Did you make it to Mark? I was there at the airport in Copenhagen. Oh, okay. Copenhagen? This is Thank saying you. Uh, micro distillery and brewery in a small town called Koje, I think. Um, not far from Copenhagen. Brother Kloss, distillery manager, and Michael Dine, Brownstein, sales manager, are running the company. At first, they started as a brewery, but not long after they entered the new millennium, they brought the equipment, uh, bought the equipment of a distillery from Baltimore. Their production is mostly organic and mostly local. Uh, they even go as far as using ice water from Greenland. The only problem is they can't get certified because they can't get enough organic oak barrels. Uh, they also make gin, rum, vodka, and liqueurs. Peated and unpeated whiskey they produce. Peated malts come from Port Ellen Malting. Okay, so if it came from Port Ellen. Yeah, it took a long time to get to that point. It but did. we uh, finally well, figured out what it is. The community knew what that meant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it is a single malt, and it's barley. There barley. is no corn. But boy, it really smells... Mm -hmm. So, okay, so you're guessing, though, that there is no corn. No, no, I'm not guessing. He said it's that it's a single malt, single malt mm -hmm. from Port Ellen. So that means that it is barley. Okay. 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 The enthusiast has spoken. Has spoken. No <laughs> corn in this one. So what do we, what do we get from this? What, what do you feel? Um, I feel like this is uh, very smooth. Uh, I like it. But, I mean, it really has that bourbon nose to it. It mm -hmm. does. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. And... Um, uh, but it, it does it it does have a sort of like you said it sort of has a non smoky peaty scotch taste yeah 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 and and you know it's it's interesting difference nothing like we've had before in the show yeah this is very different Jamie, and, and delightfully nice different mm -hmm. yeah nice job everybody give Jamie a round of applause that's right they try to do bourbon but they came up with this and it's good. So, uh, <laughs> we ain't got nothing else to comment about this, Eddie. We would like everybody to click on the subscribe button. Right Be here. Sure share it right there. Right here. Can we get it? And then subscribe. Hit the subscribe. This is our call to action for Burn to sign us off. All for one? One, one for, for all. all.